up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're gonna be looking at septimus one of the ogs in the game one of my favorite champions he is just a killing machine he is so fun to watch um literally his a1 will just pop off he can just blitz through waves and he just picks them off one by one uh, it's one of the funniest things i've ever seen in the game uh his a2 just absolutely slams you know ignores shields block damage and he's a max enemy HP damage champion. Um, he has been power crept though, or sort of nerfed indirectly. And that's because of uh, Dungeons 20. There was like no cap. So his damage was just like unlimited. Uh, and then um, unfortunately, you know, with like Dungeons 21 and above and hard mode, um, there's that 10% cap. So they can't do more than 10% of the boss's uh, max HP, which really sucks. It has like really nerf them but he doesn't stop him from being an awesome and fun champion um so what we're going to do today is we're going to look at my account but one of my viewers reached out to me peril he has an insane septimus um but built slightly different to mine so what we're going to do is we're going to compare savage gear to because his isn't built in savage we're going to pair it compare to stats so he's got something like something crazy like 380 uh, crit damage so it's gonna be interesting to see what's better having lots of savage or, or or stats and yeah i'm really interested to know so we've got lethal and cruel so you know we're getting an extra 15 percent uh, attack percentage and then we're also getting 30 percent ignore defense as well so i'm gonna go through every single piece so we've got a nice triple rolling speed and um, we're looking for crit rate crit damage and attack percentage on the substats, uh, crit damage on the gloves, attack percentage on the chest, speed on the boots. If you can, you should go for attack percentage, but I know it's not always possible. You know, it's hard to do because you do need insanely good gear to do that. Uh, then we've got attack percentage, sorry, attack on the ring, crit damage on the amulet, and then attack on the banner. Total stats, we are rocking 39k HP, 6.2k attack, 219 speed i'd say you always want to go above 200 if your damage your nukas if you're too slow they die they don't get a turn it makes them obsolete uh, obsolete it just is pointless so you need to be at least 200 above i mean it doesn't matter how hard you hit if you're not getting a turn it doesn't matter so uh crit rate a little bit of overkill you know you definitely could tune this down a bit 292 crit damage pretty pretty insane stats but again, my boy Peril, 380, almost 90% more uh, crit, crit damage, which is crazy. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, really looking forward to testing that out just to see what differences are. Uh, and then Masteries, these are the ones that I've gone for. So I think Ruthless Ambush is just essential. You know, the first hit, we're getting an extra 8% damage. So with the A1, you know, we're going to be popping off and he's a single tack a champion. So we're going to pop off on waves, just hitting them one by one. Um, so it makes sense uh, because we're always going to get that 8% chance when we're, you know, we're just going to blitz through the waves. And then on the boss as well, we're probably going to use his A2, which is that big hitter. And it just means that we get to do extra damage on that as well. Uh, cycle violence as well because we want to cycle back round to a2 for the boss for those hard hits uh, then you know single out just extra damage methodical because the a1 you know it hits hard and we just want to sort of build up the damage over time uh, i have gone for helm smasher um, just so i can use him in arena as well as pve content if i was only using in pve content i would probably take flawless execution just so we get that extra 20% uh, crit damage defense tree uh, improved parry just reducing crit damage for us wisdom of battle as well so we take um, so yeah after we've been sort of um, you know if we've had like some form of CC put on us it gets well after it come, expires we get block debuffs on us which is nice and then we're taking retribution for counter attacks so yeah that's the build let's check out perils and then we'll do some stuff in dungeons so we're now on perils account just want to say 
big shout out to the elite boss killers. And again, thank you so much, Peril, for letting us use the account. Uh, so he's not, uh, so I've got five stars, he's got four. So not a huge difference. And what he's done is he's put his in um, Swift Parry. So we'll just go through every single piece. I, that is a really, really nice piece. Hitting all the stats that he want. And yeah, insane, insane build. Uh, crit damage on the gloves, attack percentage on the chest, speed on the boost, the same as me. He's gone for a broken set as well. This is fine to do. Um, I know people always, you're always trying to, you know, you always want to try and get, you know, all the sets bonuses, but you can't always do that. So it's not bad just to, you know, have a broken set as well. Nice ring, nice amulet, and yeah, really, really good banner. Shame that there wasn't more rolls in speed. That's not a big deal. So total stats, he's got 39k HP, 6.5k attack, so 300 more than me. Uh, a little bit too slow, 196, 103 crit rate, so nice, right on that sweet spot. And then 382 crit damage, which is just insane. So let's just hop straight into Spider and just see what sort of damage that his Septimus is doing. So we're going to do 20 because this is where he's going to shine. And we're going to slow things down just so we can sort of... Well, I'm not going to full auto it. I just want to sort of... You know, we want to see Septimus at work. That's what it's all about. So Lydia coming in with drop defense and weaken. Just going to A1 with Pytheon. Throw out HP burns with Artek. Going to drop that Termia with Coldheart. So she did 1.5 mil. Coming in with the A2 and we did 2.8 mil. Insane. So we're going to see the difference compared to uh, my Septimus. And that was 10, 10 turns as well. So not bad at all. Pretty sick team. So yeah, let's uh, let's see the difference. So we're back on my account and we're going to do exactly the same team. Um, I just forgot to mention as well, we do put um, Septimus in the lead for that attack bonus aura as well. So again, Lydia coming in front. A1 on Pytheon. Okay, cold heart coming in, 1.5 mil again. And then Septimus with the A2, what's the difference? 3.1 mil, wow. And that was a five turn team. So it looks like Savage makes a huge difference. And that's good to know because, you know, people always talk about how much better Savage is. And sometimes, you know, you just sort of go with the flow and you don't realize the difference until you actually run it so that's actually a big big difference that's like an extra was that an extra million damage um so yeah it does show that actually savage is still like one of the best gear sets obviously merciless has sort of taking that spot but savage is still i would say savage is still better because you can farm it it's easier to get and the same with lethal where merciless it will probably take you about a year um to probably gear two champions in decent merciless gear where with Savage and Lethal, you can definitely farm it up a lot faster. So we're just going to do stage 20 on Finite. And I just want to show you sort of a wave clear. So we're just going to let Septimus do his thing. And hopefully he can just pop off across the waves. So again, Lydia coming in for drop defense and weaken. Getting speed buff from... Okay, so there we go. There we go. And that's what I'm talking about. That's one of my favorite things to watch with Septimus. Literally just going, just, you know, just smashing through the waves one by one. It's one of the funniest things to watch. So yeah, here he's definitely going to struggle because we don't have that decreased defense and weaken. But that was like 150k to 200k per, uh, per, per mob, <laughs> uh, per champion. So yeah, we'll hop back onto my account and just sort of see what the difference is with Savage. And also it'd be interesting to see on the second wave if we still need that drop defense and we can just to sort of get through. Okay, back on my account, going into stage 20 and just 
see what the difference is. So it was like 150 to 200K. And we'll just see what sort of the difference is between my Septimus and Perils, just for the wave clear. 166, 150, 160, 180, 230. So yeah, you can just see that Savage is so much better. Um, yeah, so that's good to know. Let's uh, just hop into Arena as well and see if I can try and get a win with Septimus. I don't feel he's as great at PV, PvP as he is in PvE, but it doesn't stop him from being, you know, still usable for Arena. Whoa, I was not expecting that, guys. So we actually managed to do Final 20 in one minute too. You know, this was just like a random team that I threw together. I could probably speed this up, take out Pyathion and bring in like an ally attack champion, but that is good to know. Or like a reset champion like Renegade. But yeah, so one minute and two seconds, not bad at all. all right so we're in low gold five at the moment and i sort of found this team we're gonna bring in hedgy just to make sure that we get to go first there's always having that speed race and you never want to lose uh, python as well just for cleanse and revive just in case we do get dropped so we're gonna take out your cool first or oh, that was lucky so that's another thing um you don't know if you saw that reaction proc but that is another nurse to Septimus just because it can mess things up and we can literally just go through the team. Uh, Ray next. And this is kind of a problem. I mean, we managed to go through the 111, but if there's like an affinity issue, like, so we're obviously spirit going against magic, you might not get that proc. God, I do not want to go this mythical team. That would be project. Oh my God, this is my boy. All right, we have to go against Project. Uh, I actually know this guy. Um, he's a mega spender, um, but he is an absolute legend as well. All right, so we're just going to look at his team and then go through them one by one. Yeah, straight off of a cleanse. Okay, so Garrel first. I think it's Alas next. Oh, and he has double Lazarus. So... Go for the left. Nice. Go for the right. Whew. Okay. Yeah, you can see he's still sort of usable, but, you know, there's stone skin and reaction gear really doesn't make him, you know, he's like a massive, massive nerf. So he's still sort of good for low gold arena. But if you're, you know, going higher up in the ranks or you're in plat or you want to push into gold for tag arena, he's not going to be a viable option well that's pretty much the end of the video guys please leave me a cheeky thumbs up make sure you smash 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 that subscribe and i'll catch you all in a video soon peace